All right. Sorry. Okay, MMP advice. A lady requests your advice on men. Um, okay. Hi, Bill. How are you? I love your work, especially your specials and your MM podcast advice. I learn a lot from your advice about the male point of view. That's really fucking... I feel like there's a lot of layers to that compliment. And I would be grateful for your insight. All right. I don't know why you're listening to me, but okay, here we go. I have no fucking background whatsoever other than failing a lot. All right. No professional background. I am a happily married woman with a toddler baby girl. Oh, isn't that the best? And I'm currently pregnant with another girl. He hit the lottery twice. Um, I am writing you. I'm writing to you because by listening to you, it seems that in general, you feel that women have the upper hand in life. However, I disagree. Well, yeah, the grass is always greener, sweetheart. Um, that is one thing that I always, I do ask feminists. I say to them, is there any scenario? Is there even one scenario where you can think that, hey, I'm, you know, as far as men and women go in this scenario, it's good to be a woman. They can't do that because their whole business model falls to the fucking ground. Every fucking scenario. It's so much harder for us. Is it? Everything out there is harder for a woman. Then why do you outlive us? If your life is really that much more difficult than mine, why do you outlive a man on average by like eight to fucking ten years? Let me guess, because the man is doing something wrong. Blame the victim, ladies. The exact thing you don't want done to yourself. You ever think that maybe you have something to do with it? Here's a classic one. You know, when my wife leaves the house, you know what I think? I think, cool, I got the house to myself, right? When I leave the house, you know what my wife thinks? What can I now text him and tell him to go out and go get me? What can I add? He's out there having fun. Let me add a fucking errand to it. Um, hey, can you go to Trader Joe's? Could you just go to Trader Joe's really quickly this Saturday before Thanksgiving and wade into that fucking Black Friday food fucking mosh pit? Sorry, that was my yesterday. Anyways, I disagree. I think men have the upper hand in general, especially when it comes to job, prospects, salary, and sexual aggressions. Oh, Jesus Christ. Here we go again. Um, what does sexual aggressions mean? I don't even know what the fuck that means. Um, I would agree with job prospects and salary, but I think the biggest fucking problem women have is you guys don't go out and start enough businesses. You keep coming, working for men. We've been fucking you over since day one. At what point are you going to become self-sufficient? And I feel like I'm not just fucking going, I'm not like being like, do as I say, not as I do. That's what I did in this business. I am self-sufficient in this business. If this business took everything away from me, I can still be a stand-up comedian and do my podcast. I'm completely self-employed. Those two things make me the most amount of money. And I can easily live off either of those. I got a TV show. I have a cartoon called F is for Family. But I was never dumb enough to be like, well, I got a TV show now and quit stand-up comedy like I saw so many comedians do. Because eventually your show goes off the air and those fucking residual checks dwindle down to like, you know. I get residual checks routinely for like under $3. So um, I'm trying to say this to empower you, but, you know, quit your fucking whining. All right. There's all these studies out there that clearly show that women are smarter than men. So if you're smarter than us, then you can build a better mousetrap. So get together with some of your smart lady friends and start a fucking business. But for the love of God, quit your fucking whining. Everybody out there is eating a giant shit sandwich. Now, granted, there might be less shit in my sandwich than yours, but make no mistake, it's still a shit sandwich. All right? But there's nothing stopping you from picking out the bread. Um, (laughs) Because when you do start your own business, um, you're going to work more than you ever worked. 
that whole thing where it's like, I will start my business and then I will delegate and it will run on its own and I'll sit on a fucking yacht. Yeah. And they will rob you blind. Anyways, um, sexual aggressions. Um, all right. But you, I think you guys make up more than make up for sexual aggressions, whatever the fuck that means. Is that sexual assault? Are we talking about we're the ones who have to have an opening line? Um, I think you guys more than make it up with uh, divorce court aggressions. Okay? And your whole fucking thing where, you know, I wish that women could just beat the shit out of guys instead of just tr- taking every fuck Because an ass kicking, it's like, you know, a week of Epsom salt, you go to the dentist, you can put it behind you. All right, but when a woman kicks your, kicks your ass and just, they, you know, they just take everything, everything, the house, the kids, your guitar collection, your car, whatever the fuck you collect that you love, they're going to make you sell that. Not even because they need the fucking money, just because they know it's going to put another fucking hole in your heart. All right? So there you go. So here we go. I'm going to fucking play my little violin as I listen to the rest of this. I agree with George Carlin, my hero, when he said 99% of all the truly horrifying shit going on in this world was initiated, established, perpetrated, enabled, or continued by men. Yeah, absolutely. But that's only because women haven't been given an opportunity to show how fucking out of their minds they are. I got to be honest with you. I don't understand why to compliment a woman you have to trash men. Anyways, he says, and in the course of life compared with men, women have far more to put up with. They bear greater burdens, extra spoonfuls of shit. Oh, boy. Um, I I don't 100% agree with that. So I also agree with Louis C.K. that men are the number one threat to women, men are the number one cause of injury and mayhem to women, and men are the worst thing that ever happens to women. Yeah, but you can say that right back to about women to men. No one can fucking destroy a man's life like a woman. Look at all of these fucking powerful men who, who ascend the fucking mountaintop and what brings them down. Marrying the wrong fucking woman will fuck your life over worse than cancer. Um, anyways, I do not, I do not know any woman who has not been in some way physically and emotionally assaulted and minimalized by men. I don't know any guy out there who's dated a fucking woman and hasn't had his heart fucking stepped on. See what you're doing here, sweetheart, is you're just looking out your own head. Okay. There's the yin and the yang, okay? I don't know. I've never seen a happier woman out there than when she actually meets a great man and vice versa. There's there's a positive way to look at this. And in this age where they're just constantly trashing men and where you can just hashtag white male trash, which is you're combining racism and sexism and you're being called a fucking hero about it. I, I don't get it. Unless you're just going to fight fire with fire. I don't know. So anyways, I would like to teach my daughters to defend themselves from physical aggression and belittling comments from men. Now this I agree with. Yeah, it's called fucking MMA. Get your kid involved in mixed martial arts. Get your kid involved in uh, sports. Big believer in that. Um, however, I do not, do not want to make them biased against men as I want to raise confident, polite women who view men as their equal, but know when to defend themselves when necessary. Um, Well, I got to be honest with you. Uh, If you look at the millennial generation, they've turned Manhattan into Bed Bath & Beyond, the vibe. I mean, older generations literally turned it into a giant Bed Bath & Beyond, but like I mean, I never thought I'd say this, but I feel like the stand-up scene is better in L.A. than it is in New York, just as far as the groan factor. I get way more groans in New York City. It's unreal. Um, anyways, uh, you had a daughter recently, and I would love to know your opinion on what you will say to your daughter about defending themselves without making them psychotic or biased against men. 
because of the news, the Me Too movement, the wage gap, and my own personal experiences, unfortunately, I find myself more and more enraged with the opposite sex. Yeah, that's because you're just being inundated with these fucking images. It's also why you probably think everybody in the Middle East is a fucking terrorist, because that's all they're showing. You know? Social media is a massive failure. And there's all these studies coming out now that show that it actually, it, it, you know, it makes you angry. It makes you depressed. It's not a good thing. Um, anyways, and I certainly do not want to pass that on to my daughter under any circumstances. I have talked to my husband a little bit about this, but I do not want to tell him the extent of my disappointment in the male species because I plan to stay with them for the rest of my life. I would love to know your opinion and especially your defense of men so that I have a different point of view and a more balanced opinion of men that I can pass on to my daughter when I grow up. Thank you very much. P.S. I am from Spain and I apologize for any grammatical or spelling errors as my English is not my native language. Um, well, first of all, um, like the way that you wrote all of this and just sitting there, you didn't say one good fucking thing that men do. And now even trashing men to the level that you do, you're still playing the victim here. And I have to sit here and do some tap dance for you to try to figure out why your fucking life is actually also great because of men. Go fuck yourself. It's not my job to not make you a sexist cunt. All right. I get it. You hate men. What am, what am I going to do? Evidently, you don't like central air conditioning, heat, all modes of transportation, modern medicine, fucking some of the greatest music ever produced. I mean, we, we, we have done some good things out there. Jesus Christ, a couple of flashes and a few thousand fucking wars and all of a sudden all your good deeds are just gone. I don't know what to tell you. All I can tell you is I feel bad for your daughter and I feel really bad for your husband um, that you basically don't like men. Um, I got to be honest with you, as much as I trash women, um, I realize that most of my shit is fear-based um, because I grew up with a bunch of men that feared women. and uh, And then I also got into this business where most of us get divorced and I watched so much shit go down that is really fucked up and it's just everybody just looks the other way um, but having said that the older I get the more I realize how wrong I was about women all right. Having said that now, I'm not walking down the street not having my guard up either. You know, I am a big believer is you should let, if you're a nice person, if you're a good person, you have to let people earn the fact that you're a nice person. You just don't give that away. Because um, when you're a really nice person who's open-minded, you become a psycho magnet. And some of the worst people ever are gonna, really going to come into your life because they need someone as nice and as forgiving because everybody else is not going to put up with their bullshit. Um, but a lot of shit that I've said about women has been 100% in the wrong. Um, and I understand that. So um, I don't know. You kind of sound like where, you, where I was at about 10 years ago with the opposite sex. And you're also kind of making yourself out to be a hero. Um, I don't know. I don't know. When I see guys on stage trashing men like that, I always just think they're just trying to get laid. You know what I mean? This whole fucking thing, that, oh, men done this, men done that. Yeah, they have. We also done a lot of great things, too. We also have done a lot of great fucking things, too, okay? And at the end of the day, to always be talking about women as victims and in these victim positions is not empowering to women, all right? To just sit around and just say, all of my problems are because of a male-dominated society. Like, where is that going to get? And then your solution is to just bitch about men and then hashtag white male trash. Um, 
as white male trash here, I can tell you we're not having any meetings concerned about any of that shit. Um, you're just fucking talking to other women that believe the same way you do, okay? In life, if you want to get out of your situation, you have to fucking take control of it, all right? If you don't like working for men, start your own thing, all right? I don't like working for other people. That's why I do this, and this is why I do stand-up and will continue to do that. So you always have to have that ability to be like, well, that's the deal you're offering me? Yeah, I don't want it. Go fuck yourself, and you walk away. So... um, What would you do for your daughter? I would, first of all, I would not give her probably 90% of your negative opinions on men because she'll become a a man hater, but it's your kid if that's what you want. And I would, um, I don't know if I was running shit, I would secretly teach every woman out there, uh, mixed martial arts and, um, and then that Israeli fucking martial arts shit where you disarm people that have weapons. You know that thing where they got a gun in your face and you do that little flat move and all of a sudden you're holding the gun, pointing it at them? Um, yeah, I, that type of shit. Um, I would also tell uh, your daughter to never go back to a, a hotel room with a guy, ever. 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 Guys do not want to talk to you. If guys want to talk, they go hang out with the fellas. Okay, they're trying to fuck you. That's it. And we, hey, let's go back to the hotel room. Just talk. That's just part of him trying to get you back there. Um, I don't know. I feel bad for your husband. That's all I can tell you because I just inserted myself into that thing. It's just like, oh my god. You know, you didn't say one positive thing about men, and you just wrote a giant fucking. There wasn't one positive thing in there, and. Uh, and the worst thing about where we're at right now as human beings is you would be complimented on that and you would be called strong. And that's the direction that we're headed in. Um, you know, and you know what? I don't dictate it. So I don't know. I guess mixed martial arts and I teach her how to run a business. And along the way, you know, if you don't know how to do that, I would learn that too so you don't have to work for men. Uh, for the record, men treat other men like shit too, by the way. And that whole feminist fucking idea that, uh, if a guy's a dick, that he gets respect, like, uh, is the stupidest thing ever. No one likes a dick. No one wants to work for a dick and everybody secretly hopes the guy crashes on the fucking way home. Hey, you know what I loved about my boss? He treated me like shit and I don't know why. I just really respected him. Nobody likes being treated like shit. That is something a woman made up because it fit that fucking argument and everybody ran with it. Yeah, if you're acting like an asshole, uh, you're an asshole. Uh, You're an asshole. Uh, 